Uh, this one's called Get Well Soon. My dad never let me win at anything growing up. Imagine bankrupting a five-year-old boy in Monopoly, snatching his line drives out of the air from the pitcher's mound, letting his breakfast burn on the stove because it was his turn to cook breakfast and he had to learn. Imagine. So, I'm not going to pull any punches here. And it might appear to the casual observer to be a bit unfair for a man in the prime of his life to write a poem to attack a hunchback heart patient. Instead of handing him his cup of orange juice and letting him fall soundly asleep, instead of fluffing his pillow and putting on his daily dose of daytime TV, instead of upping his meds, that's what nice people do. <laughs> but my dad didn't laugh at my five-year-old jokes unless they were goddamn damn funny. He made his wobbly, chubby son play soccer and wouldn't tell him good game afterwards unless he scored. So yes, some of the family might find this poem untasteful, but dad wouldn't mind, as long as they weren't bored. My dad wouldn't let himself off easy. He hitchhiked through Europe on a farm boy's wages. He fought soccer teams just for kicks. He would write when he felt like it, and with the fuck you if you don't ease on the pen or the keyboard of a genius who'd rather be watching the game. My name, if I had been born a girl, was going to be Cynthia. Fuck you, dad. <laughs> to raise four children who smoke. We got you good on that one. <laughs> he taught us to play the long con, but to give it up if there was ever a good reason to moon someone. He gave me my first fake dog shit and my first whoopee cushion and is undoubtedly the reason I still find both those things hilarious. <laughs> Fuck you, Dad. You got a face like an ashtray. <laughs> Notice the nurses in the room. You made me piecemeal out of genes for baldness and dementia. I guess you did know how to run the long con. But now your days are drawing on. And if your pulse is a clock, I can see that it's running fast. I see it in your eyes as they go through and past the front page and the sports section. You have a Churchill biography too, but don't think I forgot. I saw the receipt. I know that you bought the girl with the dragon tattoo. This poem isn't beautiful, but neither are you. You're getting smaller every day, like if I boiled one of your suits, I'd be too smothered to breathe and my ankles would get cold. I bet you can't feel my grounders anymore, you old bastard. Your gown's hanging open, I can see through to your chest, and it's red sewn together ugly like a flesh-colored vest, but you're still goosing mom's ass like you think no one can know. I guess the Emperor doesn't mind his new change of clothes, but in every pose you're wearing the same shit-eating grin of a man who raised four kids never to lose in Monopoly to cook their own goddamn breakfast. It's the weekend after all. You got 64 years inside your skin and it's looking a size too small. Thank you.